Welcome to Web Style Press. In this video, we are creating a simple, beginner friendly, easiest counter app using React signals. We are not using use state hook from React. We will handle counter state using signal. Signals is a performant state management library from React. To use it, install signals in React by using npm install at preact slash signals dash react. Okay, this is the app. I have some CSS for counter area and buttons as well. And these are the elements that we need. Area to show the counter value and buttons. So import use signal from preact signals react use signal inside the function initialize the state by using use signal initial value is zero we can display this value here count dot value count has got the current value stored in signal count is a signal because we have defined it by using use signal hook we created a signal named count and initialized it with a value of zero so by using count dot value we can access its value to increment decrement and reset count value we can get the value from count and manipulate it directly on a click event and it will work just fine so button on click count dot value increment save and there you go similarly for reset on click count dot value equals zero for decrement on click count dot value decrement save increment the value decrement reset count up count down reset that's it this is the counter app and react using signals but we can create a function to update count as well to do that i will copy this comment this and paste same code below for increment instead of manipulating value here we will use a function handle count and pass a value to it pass an argument increment similarly handle count reset and handle count decrement so we are firing a function handle click on click event and passing an argument that will be used to identify what to do next so increment reset and decrement are being passed as arguments Here we have created this click handler and we are getting value as action. If action was increment, increment the counter. Increase the counter value by one. If it's decrement, decrease counter value. And if it was reset, then change the value to zero. This is by using if else statement. It is fine, but we can also use switch statement. I'll comment this. Here we created same function with action as parameter. Switch will use the action and process it case by case. In case of increment, increment the counter value. In case of decrement, decrease the value of counter. In case of reset, change the value to zero. And default case will just do nothing. This is also fine. So you can use inline function to update state like this or create a separate function to do so. You can use if else statement or switch statement depends on your needs, preference, team lead, manager or client. In any case, the app will work. Increment, decrement, reset. In case of if else, increment decrement reset okay we did not use use state hook to manage state in this app 
State management using React signals is easy. It seems easy. Then using hooks in React like use state and use effect. What do you think? Do you have anything to add to this conversation? Do you have questions or recommendation? Use comment section below. Okay, I hope it helped. Like, share, subscribe and I will see you in the next video.